quick one on energy here, Susan. The coalition set to make nuclear part of your energy plan from 2025. Why not do this while you're in power? You had enough time. We talked about it while we were in power and the work that Peter Dutton and Ted O'Brien are doing now is excellent. And as yeah, I talk talked to young it, people, they're interested in nuclear. Well, it's a conversation that has to bring the whole country with us. It's not about directing from the top. It's about agreement also with the Labor Party that has run a mile from this, which is a big mistake on their part because you need clean baseload power to mm. support renewables. And this is the point that Anthony Albanese and his team completely miss. But most importantly, if we want to get to that clean emissions future, that zero emissions future, we do need nuclear. We do need it to support renewables. But as we talk about it, and as I said, Ted O'Brien and Peter Dutton are leading a really good conversation. It's a conversation we're up for, Pete. Unfortunately, mm. Labor is not up for the conversation. Well, they um, say it's too poll, expensive. I think, in Warringah recently. Well, they do, but they're not looking at it and they're not accepting that the rest of the world does not take that view and the rest of the world is advancing to small modular reactors and micro reactors. Um, a poll in Warringah of young people actually had more agreeing that nuclear should be explored and we should head in that direction than actually thought the opposite. So the tide is turning. Again, it's a conversation the whole country needs to participate in, mm. and they are, just not the Labor Party. OK, Susan Lee, we're out of time. Appreciate your time.